Hello, hello, hello. This is the Air Castle in the land of make-believe, and all the children everywhere can hear us because we have a magic wire which goes to the radio. We are very glad to again be in the tower room of the Air Castle, which is in our very topmost tower, because through its great windows we see so many beautiful things in the land of make-believe and in the land of every day. Pretty soon, clickety-clack, happy little funny little wooden man only one foot high will be here with us and his little playmates, and while we're waiting for them, we might sing the song about the circus parade. Circus parade, toot toot toot, toot toot toot, sailing on pink lemonade. Fifteen elephants and five giraffes, led by the Indian who never laughs. A one-headed bird and a two-headed calf. We cheer for the circus parade. Toot toot toot, toot toot toot, lions and tigers and bears. How the chimpanzee stares Fifteen clowns of every shape and size Painted noses and cross eyes One big clown in a baby buggy cries Be cheers for the circus parade Toot, 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 toot Arabs and cowboys galore Toot, 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 toot Here comes a great coat and four prancing horses and a zebra too here comes the band and the red white and blue i wish they'd march again don't you three cheers for the circus parade that's the song about the circus parade it's quite interesting to see a circus parade in toyland all of the little toys gather together, and especially those little clowns who are so very funny. The little clowns Bopo tells us about. And, uh, you know, Bopo is a member of the clown circus, and that is why he's so very, very funny. We might uh, sing the song about the Toyland Jubilee, because when they have a circus in Toyland, that is part of the Jubilee. <laughs> Dilly Dolly was so jolly at the Toyland of Jubilee. He was singing in a swing beneath a pretty candy tree. Froggy band was playing, all the dolls were swaying, happy as could be. Shaggy doggy scared a froggy with the cutest mandolin. Dimple Dottie said, you naughty, wicked little Rin Tin Tin. He hid in the flowers, stayed asleep for hours while they danced with glee. Wooden soldier said, I'm bolder than a great big polar bear. But a cricket in a thicket chirped and gave him such a scare. Chinese lanterns twinkled, magic dream bells tinkled, lovely sight to see. In the morning, without warning, all the little sunbeams came. Breezes rustled as they hustled homeward to be found the same. Come sometime with me, if you'd like to see the toy land of Jubilee. Here he comes, clickety clackety clickety clack, little wooden man, one foot high. Hello, clickety clack. Well, just see him today, he's smiling so fine, just as happy as can be.
What have you been doing today, Clickety Clack and Bugler Murphy? You've been working in the flower garden. Oh, we think that's wonderful. Fine. You know, Clickety Clack and Bugler Murphy have the finest flower bed you've ever seen. All kinds of different beautiful flowers. And one thing about the land of make believe, almost every kind of flower may grow all the year round. And, uh, President Pip is very proud of Clickety Clack and Bugler Murphy for being such very good little gardeners. I wonder if President Pip is coming upstairs. You'll be here pretty soon, I think. Clickety Clack, can you see President Pip anywhere? All right, call President Pip then. Here he comes. President Aloysius Quimperton Washington Lincoln McPip. President of the land of make-believe. Later, the land of upside down. Representative of happy land and ambassador to the land of dreams. Thank you, Bugler Murphy. <laughs> you better blow the salute, I think. Blow the salute for the president. Hello, President Pip. Well, how do you do? How do you do? Goodness me. Here I am again and my beard nicely curled and... And I've just made another proclamation. Oh, let's see the proclamation, President Pip. Always interested in your proclamations. Oh, yes. Be it hereby known that a campaign will be started to capture the Slippery Elf. Every member of the Air Castle family and all of the soldiers belonging to Clickety Clack's Wooden Soldier Army, all of the friends of the Air Castle family are asked to help to catch the slippery elf so that we may teach him a lesson. Signed, yours truly, Aloysius Wimpleton, Washington, Lincoln, McPip. That's me, that's me, the way I feel about it, too. And goodness me, we're certainly going to going to catch him this time. Clickety clack. Are all the little wooden soldiers in good training? Have you been having drills regularly? Bugle Murphy, how is the band? Fine, Bugle Murphy says. Well, I've waited a long time for this, President Pip. I always wondered if you wouldn't someday decide to have a regular campaign and really surround the slippery elf and all of his little elves and take him prisoner so that we might teach him more about the air castle. And a little bit more about himself and how to behave in public or vice versa. Yes. Well, then perhaps we'd better... Get down in the courtyard and tell all of the soldiers and all of the air castle people. Well, I think that'll be a pretty good little idea, all right. <laughs> Hello, little gingerbread man, just in time. Well, here he is, dancing around. I don't know whether he'll be much help or not, but he can go with us. Oh, he just dances around in circles all of the time. However, it might be that he could dance in a circle around the slippery elf and, and uh, take his attention away from the other things while we are... Getting closer and closer to him. Well, that might be an idea. That little old slippery elf certainly gets on my nerves. Goodness me. With his little pointed cap and his little pointed ears and his little pointed toes and his little pointed nose. Oh, always wearing a little brown leather jacket and little green velvet breeches. Goodness me. I certainly would like to spank him or something. <laughs> oh, my, President Pitt, that's rather violent, isn't it? Well, of course. Who ever thought a spanking wasn't violent? Some people will even spank with a shingle. Goodness me, think of that. I don't even do that. I wouldn't use that. I, I just use my hand. Plain old spanking is what I stand for. Bigger Murphy's calling all the little wooden soldiers. Here they come. Hooray, let's hurry downstairs. Come on, clickety clack. They're all gathering in the courtyard. Careful, clickety clack fell halfway down, sir. Goodness me. Oh, just a minute, we'll be there. We'll open the gate. Here we are. Oh, I'd right, open the gate. There they come. Oh, just see them. Hundreds and hundreds of them with a drum corps in front of them. Company! Oh! That's the way I like to see them obey orders. 
My dear little friends, rest. That's what I have to say to make him feel at ease. I'm going to talk to him a little bit. I see, President Pip. Ah, they're eagerly uh, looking at you, wondering what you're going to tell them. My dear little wooden soldiers, all standing there. A minute ago, you were standing at attention, and I think you're the finest-looking little wooden soldiers ever was. Of course, when wooden soldiers get out of line, they certainly are out of line. Looks like a cyclone hit the place or something. Goodness me. But one little call from the bugle, and they straighten up straighter than any soldier. West Point, East Point, North Point, or South Point. We're all around the town. Goodness me. Yes. We're going out to, to capture the slippery elf. My dear little wooden soldiers, and you are supposed to play a very brave part in this because you are the advance guard. Because who can tell, when we go through the green hills, we might run in to the, to the old, uh, the old, um, clinkety-clink, the uh, little old tin soldier and all these little tin soldiers. <laughs> well, never mind, it's only a possibility. Not even a probability. So don't get too excited, Bugle Murphy. Sorry, man, I'm learning some pretty good long words I use on them now, and it makes a very big impression, goodness me. Yes, probability and uh, possibility are pretty good words, I think. Well, they're not very good, but they sound fine. And as I was saying, we are going to do our uttermost to distinguish ourselves as brave heroes, and so forth and so on. If I could think of more words, I'd say more. That's a very good speech, President Pip. Well, they seem very much impressed. Now, Bugle Murphy, bring it clack if you'll take charge of the little wooden soldiers. Company, attention! Bigity Clack is marching over in front of the line, getting ready to take charge of the little wooden soldiers, and soon we shall be marching through the castle gate, over the drawbridge, and out through the green hills. And then on to the purple hills where we expect to find the slippery elf. We'll have to climb the slippery mountain, I suppose. All right, Bugle Murphy, are we ready? Back up the band. There we go. Forward. March. That's the way. Very good, President Pip. Oh, just see them go. My, they're doing splendidly. I should say we will, President Pip. Oh, just see who's coming along now. Happy Duck. Happy Duck with a little red hat, a little red ribbon, and a little red boot. Yes, come on, Happy Duck. We'll soon be off through the green hills. And the next time the children listen, they will hear more about it. Bye, children. Be good and you'll be happy. (laughs) 